Welcome back to the Amber Ruffin Show. Now, Americans are constantly hearing about our enormous immigration crisis, but what if I told you that we actually don't have an immigration crisis, like, at all? Let me explain in a segment called, How Did We Get Here? to a certain kind of person, the kind who would rather have guns in schools than black history, America's problems boil down to one thing, undocumented immigrants. At least that's what I call them. Conservatives call them illegal aliens, which is an offensive term. And in 1607, real Americans called them, who the hell are all these white people and why don't they season their Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> now, when people rant about immigration, they're usually making one of three complaints. First, they say there are too many immigrants. Next, they'll call them criminals. And finally, they'll say they're stealing our elections. The only people more demonized than undocumented immigrants are people who emerged from the pandemic totally jacked. <laughs> we had an agreement that involved wine and soft pants. You betrayed me, Donna. <laughs> but what if none of these things are true? Let's start with the first one. There's too many of them. Well, people are worried that America will be overrun with immigrants and we don't have enough resources to deal with them, which sounds reasonable, but what if I told you that the number of unauthorized immigrants in the U.S. has declined since 2007? It's true. Undocumented immigrants have been decreasing for over a decade, much like the number of people doing parkour or the age of Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriends. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. But what about all that footage of immigrant caravans coming to the border? Were they just a soul train line? <laughs> First of all, I wish, and yes. Some people are immigrating here from other countries illegally, but people are also crossing the border in the opposite direction. That is how borders work. And for years, more immigrants have been leaving America than coming in. So technically, it's immigrants who solved our immigration problem. It's like, if you found out that the hamburglar was sneaking into McDonald's every night and leaving a bunch of hamburgers. <laughs> now, let's move on to the next concern, that undocumented immigrants are drug smugglers, terrorists, or criminals. Now, I grouped these three together because they're all equal parts bullshit. First, <laughs> the vast majority of drug traffickers are U.S. citizens. The drug trade, much like a combination Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, KFC, is ridiculously American. And <laughs> While there definitely are Mexican drug cartels, they're using way more sophisticated methods than asking people to frickin' jog across the border. Recent investigations show that they've used planes, drones, and even an underground rail system with solar-powered lighting. They have a solar-powered subway, meaning, <laughs> meanwhile, in New York City, we got this. to get a Mexican drug cartel in here. Maybe they can get the F train to run on time. <laughs> Undocumented immigrants also aren't terrorists. In fact, Trump's own State Department said there's no credible information that any member of a terrorist group has traveled through Mexico to gain access to the United States. Zero terrorists. That is the smallest number you can have. Even Back to the Future had a couple of terrorists. And that's just a movie about not making out with your own mom. <laughs> so immigrants aren't drug kingpins or terrorists, but how many of them commit regular crimes? Well, I've said before that crime is related to education and economics, not race or ethnicity, but there's one group that totally defies that research. Do you know who? Juggalos. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's undocumented immigrants because Undocumented immigrants have considerably lower crime rates than native-born citizens. Basically, it goes undocumented immigrants, American citizens, and then any famous person who appears in the first 10 minutes of Law and Order. <laughs> like, you know, if Mark Ruffalo was playing the mailman, girl, he did it. <laughs> but it gets better because immigrants don't just not commit crimes, they actually make neighborhoods safer. One study found a reduction of almost five violent crimes for every 1% increase in the foreign-born population. So if you want to improve your neighborhood, don't add three coffee shops and an overpriced cheese store, add immigrants. <laughs> so that just leaves the final question. Are undocumented immigrants stealing elections? The short answer, no. 
The long answer, hell no. So why do people think they are? Well, in 2014, in 2014, a group called the Cooperative Congressional Election Study conducted a survey about voting. Now, at the bottom was a box that asked people if they were American citizens. The surveyors knew that, inevitably, a few people would check the wrong box, and that's what happened. They got a small number of voters who checked the box saying they weren't citizens. Now, what's more likely? That a few people checked the wrong box or that they decided to use a random survey to confess to a felony? <laughs> Either way, conservatives used that very small number to declare that this study meant that millions of people voted illegally in 2008. And that same misinformation has been repeated ad nauseum to say the 2020 election was stolen as well. But just for fun, want to know how many confirmed illegal votes they actually found in that original 2014 survey? Five. Yeah, much like a guy in a locker room telling people how many women he's had sex with, the Republicans took the number five and pretended it was millions. <laughs> so, to summarize, numbers of undocumented immigrants have been decreasing for years. Immigrants aren't criminals and they aren't stealing elections. More importantly, these false accusations say a lot more about white people's fears of people that don't look like them than they do about immigrants. But pretending that those fears constitute a national crisis? Well, much like a Taco Bell Pizza Hut KFC, that couldn't be more American. This has been How Did We Get Here? <laughs> 